in stormy weather at 57 Mount Pleasant Street. Well, it's the same room, but everything's different. You can find the sleep, but not the dream. Things ain't cooking in my kitchen. Strange affliction wash over me. And the Roman Empire couldn't conquer the blue sky. Everywhere you go, you always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go, you always take the weather. Everywhere you go, you always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go, you always take the weather, the weather with you. Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing Weather With You by Crowded House, 90s classic. I just about remember it without giving my age away. Um, it's, it's a great song to sing and play at the same time, and I'm always on the lookout for songs that do that. Um, this version that we're going to be learning is just one rhythm pattern that we're going to be using more or less throughout the whole song, which means that if you did want to sing along, it will make it a little bit easier. We're also going to be looking at some little cool up um, changes, when I say up changes, we're going to change going up strums using the A chord just to flesh it out a little bit and make it sound that little bit more exciting. Uh, so without further ado, let's have a look at the left hand. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, we're, we're going to be using some rhythm arrow systems as well. So this is going to help you with your ghost drumming and to keep your rhythm nice and natural. Okay, now Drew, yes, we'll have a look at the left hand. Right, so I'm going to show you what the chords are and the best way to change between them in the song so that you're not um, ruining your finger economy. If you already know these chords, then click this link here and that will take you through to the rhythm so that you can get playing the song straight away. So the chords are E minor seven, but we're gonna be doing the E minor seven with these couple of octaves here. So that's your first one. A, A suspended fourth. We've also got a C, a D minor, an F, a G, an E, and an A seven suspended fourth. Right, the E minor seven. So the strings are Eddie eight, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, or try to think of your own silly little rhyme. That's just what I use. Index on the second fret on the A string, middle finger on the second fret on the D, ring finger on the third fret on the B, pinky tucked underneath on the third fret on the E. For that chord, you strum all six. And then in the song, what's gonna be happening most of the time is that's gonna be changing to an A. So what I want you to do is I want you to move your middle, leave your middle finger there, okay? And then lift these others up, tuck your ring and pinky underneath on the G string and the B string on the second fret, okay? And then strum the bottom five. An A suspended fourth follows that, only briefly, I'll take you through that later. So you stick the little finger out onto the third fret whilst leaving these here for the A suspended fourth. Cool, okay, um, and then a little bit later that A suspended fourth is gonna change to a D minor so the index finger's spare, so that's going to go on the first fret on the E string. Okay, the middle finger's going to go on the second fret on the G, and ring's going to go on third fret on the B. For that one, you strum the bottom four. For the A chords, both suspended and normal, was bottom five. That then changes to C. It's a pretty easy change, actually. So you move your index finger up to the first fret on the B string, move your middle finger up so it skips the G onto the D, and ring finger on the third fret on the A, and you strum the bottom five. Okay, so you're gonna be doing that a lot. D minor, C. It's a pretty easy change because the index just moves up and the fingers are already spread over three frets. So try to keep that stretch in your hands, okay, as you change. Don't go, uh, uh, you know, keep them stretched. Can take a bit of practice, that bit. Um, okay, and then C goes into an F. Now, we're gonna try and do a full bar chord F for this one, so take your index finger, press down as hard as you can on the first fret, and put your middle finger on the second fret on the uh, G string, ring and pinky on the A and D string on the third fret. Press as hard as you can, pinch as hard as you can and strum. 
all six strings. There's your F chord. If there is a bit of muting, then persist and press harder, okay? Um, and then the only, there's two other chords. So we've got this A7 suspended fourth. So do you remember our E minor? So here was the E minor seven, sorry, E minor seven. Just move these down. Okay, so leave these here, third fret, and these on the second fret on the D and the G. And because it's an A chord, we strand from the bottom five. The other chord that you have later is a G, so here's back to your E minor seven. Lift up the middle, index there, middle finger at the top here on the third fret, and you strum all six. And then the last chord is an E, which we need right at the end of the song. So index finger on the first fret on the G string, middle finger on the second fret, and ring finger tucked underneath on the second fret on the A and D string. Strum all six. Okay, so we're going to be using one rhythm pattern for this song to keep things a little bit easier. Also, if you do want to strum and sing it, it will um, definitely make things easier for you later on. So um, we need to learn about ghost strums and we need to understand the rhythm arrow system. So I've just included a key here now. And basically, big arrows mean you're strumming, you're hitting the strings. Little arrows mean you're doing ghost drums or missing. Now, when we're doing ghost drums, do not stop your hand. That's totally pointless. So if we're going down, miss, down, miss. We don't go down, miss, down, miss. It's not the same. Pretend like you're strumming. And a ghost drum isn't faster, so we're not going, okay, so just get it out of the same beat. Okay, if you see a red arrow, it means that you're changing chords somewhere in the bar. All right, cool. So, let's have a look at the beginning. your E minor 7, you're going to go down, miss, down, miss, down, miss, down, up, down, up, down, miss, down, miss, down, up. I'll do that slowly for you, just watch my right hand. Down, miss, down, miss, down, miss, down, up. That's going to be your rhythm. We're going to keep that going, okay? So, the beginning, E minor 7. We're then going to go to an A chord. Now, I don't know if you noticed there, but I was very quickly changing to the suspended fourth and then coming back. So, sticking my little finger up, basically. Now, how I'm doing that is I'm going down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So that up is where we change, and we do an up there and a down, and then we bring it back. I'll do it slowly. This is quite important to get. It's probably the most challenging part of the song, but it also sounds the best. I'll do it again a little slower. Okay, so now E minor 7 to the A with the suspended fourth. Repeat, a bit faster. Now, one thing to mention with this rhythm pattern that little down up at the end. Um, so the down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, before you change. Don't worry if you're playing open strings or your fingers are a bit muted as you're changing. Just keep strumming, okay, as you go into that next chord. So that is your intro, where we're not going to be learning the... We're not going to be doing any of that bit, that guitar. This is just purely a rhythm guitar lesson. Um, but that is what you play throughout that part, and also what you play through walking around the rooms. So walking around the rooms. Okay, and then, so we do that when you listen to the song, we do that chord progression, oh, now you put it on the spot, four times. And then, so we've just come from this A suspended fourth, we're then going to go to D minor. 
For the things ain't cooking And we go D minor So it's the same rhythm But on that up Where we change for the suspended fourth We're going to be changing to a C And holding it for the rest of the bar I'll show you what I mean Did you get that? So D down, 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 down Up, down, up, down Okay, so we're changing on the up to the C and staying there. So we do that um, three times. Then we go to an F chord, but no changes, just the normal rhythm. You then repeat that, okay, so D minor. to G, back to so this is the part we had at the beginning and the rest of the chorus everywhere you go so from this A we're going to be changed to an A7 to spend it four so we're going to be moving these down here middle and ring strumming the bottom four same rhythm but no funny changes on upbeats just holding it Now this is a really easy change, I think. Let me show you why. Here's your A7 suspended fourth. Lift everything up, leave the ring, mid, ring thing there, then index the middle underneath. Just makes it quicker. So here's A7 suspended fourth. Okay, so I'll just rush through that a little bit. Let's just go through that again. So, um, oh, so the, the second time you go, third time you go to the Ace of Heaven suspended fourth, you go to a G. G. Then you go to D. always take them to G. Now we're changing from G to A in a half bar, so that means on the on that upbeat where we changed before, okay? Where we've been changing throughout the whole song, really. Okay, and then we're back to... And that is more or less all your song that you're going to need. The only tiny little variation they do is when they do the last chorus, I'm going to sing it as well, just so that you can kind of hear where we are. So everywhere you go, I always take a Okay, so what they're doing there is it's um, D, and instead of what we normally do, which is go to G, we're going to go to an E chord, holding that for a full bar, then we go G, and then we go A and finish on a D. Thank you for watching my lesson. This was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. Uh, check out their website, a really, really cool little quirky music shop in Brighton. You can also uh, have a look at my website if you want some free guitar lessons. Uh, it's www.learnguitarinlondon.com. I've just included the link down here. Um, and there, you, that link in particular is going to take you to other lessons that have this rhythm arrow system, okay? Because I think this has been really, really useful and I've had some great feedback from you guys saying, yes, Drew, you know, I, I like the fact that I can keep my rhythm going and, I, and I'm understanding how natural it is to actually have to do these misses rather than freezing my hand. So um, there's lots of other lessons there that are similar sort of things, sing along, strumming stuff. Um, if you've really enjoyed this, like my video, it really helps me out. And also subscribe to my channel, I upload two new videos every week. Keep on playing, see you soon.